a 3 kilogram rock has an apparent mass of 2 kilograms when completely submerged in water. Find A, the buoyant force acting on the rock, and B, the density of the rock. The rock is at rest and staying at rest, so the acceleration of the rock is zero. And then if we draw the force diagram of the rock, we have the mg of the rock and the, the buoyant force from the water. And the, the rock is also touching the string, so there is the tension going up. The rock is not touching anything else, so we're done with the force diagram. Because the acceleration is zero, that means the upward force is equal to the downward force. So the tension plus the buoyant force must equal to the mg of the rock. The tension in the string is the same as the tension in the spring scale. If the spring scale reads 2 kilograms, that must mean the tension is 20 newtons. So 20 plus the buoyant force equals to the weight of this 3 kilogram rock mg is 30. That means the buoyant force must equal to 10 newtons. So that's the answer for part A. Another way to look at this is that the 3 kilogram rock seems lighter when it's completely submerged in water. It seems 1 kilogram lighter, 3 minus 2 equals 1. 1 kilogram lighter, and that is caused by the buoyant force. 1 kilogram lighter means 10 newtons lighter, so buoyant force must equal to the 10 newtons. Now let's look at part B. We know that the buoyant force is 10 newtons, and uh, according to the Archimedes principle, the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid. Another way to look at this is that the rock has gotten 3 minus 2, 1 kilogram lighter. But the rock got 1 kilogram lighter because of the buoyant force. So 1 kilogram must equal to the mass equivalent of the buoyant force. And the mass equivalent of the buoyant force will be the mass of the displaced fluid. So the mass of the displaced fluid must equal to 1 kilogram. And the mass equals to the density times the volume because this is the mass of the displaced fluid. So this density is the density of the fluid and the volume will be the displaced volume. And that's the density of the fluid times the displaced volume the entire rock is submerged, so the entire rock displaces the water. That means uh, the volume displaced must equal to the volume of the rock. So we have 1 kilogram equals to the density of the fluid. It is uh, water, so the density of the water is 1,000. And the, the volume of the rock, we do not have the volume of the rock directly, but we can find the volume of the rock using the mass divided by density. So it's the mass of the rock divided by the density of the rock. We know that the mass of the rock is 3 kilograms. It's not the apparent mass, it's the real mass, 3 kilograms. And uh, we're looking for the density of the rock. So 1 equals to this, uh, we'll be able to find the density of the rock to be 3,000. And everything is in standard unit, so this must be kilograms per meter cubed. So this is uh, the answer for part B. If there is uh, 4 kilograms of water in the 0.5 kilogram beaker, how many kilograms would the bottom scale read? The two scales together, the top scale and the bottom scale, have to support the total mass of the rock, water, and the beaker. The rock is 3 kilograms. The water is 4 kilograms. The beaker is 0.5 kilograms. So together they have to support 7.5 kilograms of mass. The top scale supports 2 kilograms. So the bottom scale 
must read seven point five minus two five point five kilograms.